Hello and welcome to the next video. In the previous video I demonstrated the um, how to set up secure connections and I also demonstrated how to do uh, server backups. Uh, with this video I just want to demonstrate uh, how to build a server dashboard uh, and what, server, what software we use to build this dashboard with. So um, in the library, we use Moonin on an Ubuntu server um, for uh, monitoring our servers. Um, so to do the same thing, um, is to, we need to set up a server and then each client needs to be set up to connect to the uh, monitoring server. So the first step is to set up the uh, server that will do the monitoring. And the first step is to uh, is obviously to log in to that server. Um, I have selected one of the backup servers to be my uh, monitoring server, so I log into that backup server, uh, and um, that's the way you set it up. So just to demonstrate, let me show you. I will log into the backup server, and you can see how. Um, how uh, this uh, Moonin monitoring system works on the server side. Okay. So the first thing to do is set up the server. Okay, um, there, uh, if you look at the, uh, the first part there, is to allow connections to port 449. And if I have a look at the status, I should have connections allowed to port 449. I just want to make sure that that is our backup server. Uh, that is right, well, it is our backup server. Okay, so let's put that rule in and allow it. There we go, paste it in. So if you need a status, there's the rule there. And the next thing is to install Moonin uh, on the uh, server that's going to do the monitoring. Uh, let's just make sure that this stays on top all the time. And then copy that. They said it should say Moonin is already installed. Yeah, it tells me that Moonin is already the newest version and installed. Okay, if we type the this this thing here, the configuration Apache 2 configuration, we type that. You should see the choices of uh, sites to enable. So we type moon in there to enable the moon in which I just in the control C to, to disable. But you type the whole command and then you enable moon in and then you restart. So now how do we tell moon in uh, which clients it will be monitoring? So we edit that file. Um, Tell it which clients we'll be monitoring, so we'll do that. And then for each client we monitor, we put a little uh, section of uh, information in the, in the .conf file, um, the host name of the client and the IP address. For example, you can see these here. Uh, as you see, I've added the host name, the IP address of there, and the username name is yes, all of that. So there's all the um, servers that I'm monitoring from this server, uh, each one with its uh, host name and then its IP address, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, uh, let me just quit that. I tend to quit that. Okay, so there's an example config, I haven't got all of the servers lately, but that was the config at the time I pasted it in there. And then uh, you can do this command here after you've uh, restarted the Apache web server and to see um, that everything will work as, as expected. It's, uh, 
it's a script that's not 100% um, accurate or fallible, it might be a bit fallible. So, but it's a good, um, a good uh, script to run to check after making changes. Okay, so there's a screenshot of the actual um, moon and money and what it looks like. Okay, so I'm just going to um, uh, minimize this, uh, assuming now that you have uh, installed Moonin. So the next thing is you want to go to the moon and see it in operation. So I'm going to demonstrate with our Moonin. Uh, let's open another tab. And there you go. See, so you go to the server, uh, the hostname forward slash Moonin to view the, the data. So there I have a global view of all the servers, about 50, 40 of them. And in the morning I come and check the, um, the big stuff. I check the, on my web server. Uh, I check the accesses, seeing the accesses peaking there. And I also check on our easy proxy to make sure that uh, the proxy is working, the script cache is working. And I see there's a lot of traffic on the proxy, on the easy proxy. And right, then another one I check, uh, I like to check is my uh, repository server. Check the CPU usage, interrupts, uh, check the load. Um, see there's a load at midnight, I'm assuming that's because of the cron job running at midnight. And then I see the memory usage. Yeah, you can also click on there and you get a memory usage by day, by week, by month, and by year. And you can see that uh, this space is really a big memory log. Okay, so then you click here and you get the overview. Uh, also check here with my, I think I've, we've got about 20 journals there. I check, uh, I like to check the uh, disk usage. Um, I say on a, on a monthly basis. And there's the disk usage there. So I can quickly check on the journals there. As you can see, there's the um, system usage and there's the var usage, that's where the journal sit in the var, that's where all the data sits. So there, quickly, I just scroll through there, I can see that none, okay, there we did, we, uh, we fixed up the disk usage on this journal the other day, and everything looks okay, so far, on a monthly basis. So there we go. Very quick dashboard to check everything in the morning, to see everything's going as expected. And that's Moon. Okay, so that's the server side. So how do you set up each of these individual servers? How do you prepare them to be monitored by this piece of server software? So we go back now. We've done the, uh, we've set up the server monitor. Now let's go and set up the clients. Yeah. So again, in the clients, we add that firewall rule. And uh, let me go and demonstrate in the client. And I will log into. Um, I'll log into our development server uh, to show you how the client side is set up. Let's get in there. Okay, so we become the root user. That's probably the first step there. It saves a lot of issues. Okay, so if I type the password in correctly, type it in correctly. Okay, so there we are, we're logged in. So we allow, uh, again, UFW status to see that we allow port 49, 449. Yeah, there we go, we allow port 449, 49, sorry, 4949. So that means the uh, moon monitoring server can connect and, and gather the data from the local agent here on this server. So we install the local agent with a couple of dependencies on the server to be monitored. We just copy and paste that in there. And it tells me, uh, as I've already done this, that everything here there is already the newest version. And then I uh, mod modify the local moon dash node conf file. It's the dash node conf file, see there? And I give modify that local file and I change the host name there and then I allow the monitoring server there allow the monitoring server that IP address to connect to another server 
but that server could come through on port 494. And then I'm checking the uh, then I'm checking the uh, so now the server can check this server. Only that server with that IP address that can is allowed to connect to the local Norian agent. So there, uh, allow IP address of server monitoring. And again, I, I changed the host name to the host name of the client. And there's an example, uh, the important part of the config file on how to set it up. And of course, now we can use that. And then, um, if you notice in the uh, etc menu, if we go to that menu folder, you see there's a plugin dash conf D and plugins. If we go into the plugins folder, and we'll see what is being monitored. Uh, let me just stretch this a bit for you. Yeah, it's clear. And I'm gonna try to come on again. So all of these parameters are now being monitored on this server via Moon. All those parameters. Disk free, disk space, entropy, disk stats, interrupts, interface, network, memory, net stat, client setup, Postgres, database, Tomcat access, etc. Those are all now being monitored on that server. Um, but if this, if this, if it's missing in here, uh, you just simply run this command here to repopulate the plugin list. Okay. And then to finish up installation on the client server is to restart the Moon and node. And then I can yeah, go to the plugins and see which plugins are, are, are enabled and are being working. Okay, so there's the documentation uh, on how to set up the Tomcat access on the, on the client side. Uh, let's go back there. And then here's the references uh, about Moonin and how to set up Moonin and how to troubleshoot Moonin. Um, and so that concludes setting up a dashboard, uh, a very, very handy dashboard, uh, as you can see here. So uh, I can check it at any time, and it has a history of a year, uh, and so we can see trends, uh, etc. Thank you very much, and I'll stop here.